Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to install the YouTube app on Windows 11. I'm gonna teach you how you can do this on both Microsoft Edge and of course, Google Chrome. It's a few easy steps, so make sure you follow along. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. With that being said, let's get into this. I am also gonna go through at the end a few key statistics about YouTube that I just thought were really interesting. So I'm gonna link that article in the description down below, purely because I think if you're looking at YouTube content, you might as well know some stuff about the YouTube platform. So the first application we're gonna start with is Microsoft Edge. You can see we've opened up Microsoft Edge and we're just here on our youtube.com homepage. In the top ribbon here, where you have your YouTube URL, there is actually a little button, it's three squares with a plus symbol, and it says app available install YouTube. If we select on that platform, or if we select on that icon, it's gonna open up a little dialog box asking do you wanna install the YouTube application, and then you're simply gonna hit install. It is actually installed, it pops out as a second screen here, then it gives you a few different options. It can You can pin it to your taskbar and your start menu, I would actually recommend doing that because it makes it easy to find. You can, if you want to, create a desktop shortcut so you can find it on the um, on your desktop and you can auto start it when your device logs in. So that means YouTube's gonna pop up as soon as you turn your computer on. I actually like the preset settings here. Don't recommend having it on your desktop because that's sort of un untidy. And I don't think you need it to auto start when your device turns on because that's just gonna waste a bit of bandwidth and utilization of, of your CPU but I'm gonna hit allow on these two. And you can see that in Microsoft Edge, YouTube is now installed as an application. We no longer have the address bar at the top. If I press the start button, you can see I now have a YouTube play button here. And if I open this button here, it's gonna launch into a YouTube application. And you know it's running in a full app because at the top it was red for a second and then we're running a YouTube app. That's how easy it is to do it in Microsoft Edge. Let's see how easy it is to do in Google Chrome. So again, in Google Chrome, I've jumped over to youtube.com and in the top right hand corner of our URL, you can actually see a little computer with a down symbol, which says install YouTube. Very similar process because both these browsers are running on Chromium. It's just whether you choose to use Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, you follow these steps. We're simply gonna select on the download button that says install YouTube. Very similar dialog box is gonna pop up saying install the app, then you're just gonna go install. Again, give it a couple of seconds. It's gonna pop out just like it did in Microsoft Edge, but it's not gonna ask you how you want it to install on your computer. But what you have here down the bottom is of course your YouTube player. You can see mine because I've installed it twice. I've got the Chrome and the Edge version. You can right click here and you can actually choose to pin it to your taskbar, which means it's always gonna be there for easy access. If you press your start menu, it may have appeared here. We already have one here. If it hasn't, you wanna go into your all apps, scroll down till you find YouTube, right click, and then you can choose to pin it to your start bar. It won't duplicate here because there's already an app called YouTube on here from Microsoft Edge. Although if you install it from Google Chrome only, you will have the YouTube app there, just like as we can see it here. And it is that easy. But how do you uninstall it? Well, you press the start button, type in the word uninstall, and then the best match is add or remove programs in your control panel. We're just gonna open up this first setting here. It's gonna take you straight over to your control panel. Then you're gonna scroll down and find YouTube on the application list here. Or if you wanted to, you could use the search option. You can see down the bottom, we actually have two YouTubes. The top one is from Microsoft Edge and the bottom one is from Google Chrome. If you wanted to remove these from your taskbar and the application, sim simply select on the ellipses and just go uninstall. It's gonna ask you, are you sure? You wanna hit uninstall one more time. And then you can choose to remove your data or not. We're just gonna go remove and it's gonna get rid of that Google Chrome. And you can see down the bottom in our taskbar, it's disappeared. If I do it to the Microsoft Edge version, I go, ellipses, uninstall, uninstall one more time. And then you can see that's gone from our taskbar and it's also gone from our start menu. So there you have it. It is that easy to install the YouTube app on Windows 11 using Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. Now I did say before that there are some interesting things about YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna link this website for you in the comment section down below, just cause I thought it was interesting. And it's got some awesome statistics about YouTube tells you how many people use it every month, which is 2.3 billion active users. 
Uh, it's the second most social, me uh, second most popular social media platform. This one I actually found really interesting. It is the second most popular search engine after Google because people go on YouTube and how to do things. Um, so if you've got a few minutes of spare time, you wanna read some things about the YouTube platform, I'm gonna link this down below for you guys. Anyway, there you have it. That is how you install the YouTube app on Windows 11. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.